Hey everyone, Sarah here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're swatching four inks from the Diamine Summer Series, which is a Cult Pens exclu exclusive. This was part of the awesome haul that my pen friend H gave me, and I wanted to dedicate a page just to these inks. I've had my eye on these inks um, for quite a while. Um, so was so excited to see them um, as part of the Happy Mail. Um, I've read um, all of the Mountain of Ink entries about them. I know that she talks about them being on the drier side. Um, I have tried just one of them in a pen and it was a bit dry, um, but I wanted to swatch them, see how they are on these nibs and then think, um, you know, creatively and carefully about what pens I would put them in given um, they are, well, these four at least are all lighter inks um, and on the drier side and, you know, just thinking about that. So jumping in, the first one is a jug of sangria. I also think that the summer series has really awesome names. Um, this is the one I tried. I put it in my vintage Parker vac. And it just didn't, it didn't work. Um, it was just too light and, yeah, a bit dry out of the nib. It just wasn't the right match. Um, but as a colour, I, lo <laughs> I love this. Um, the dusky, pinky, you know, hint of brown is very much in my wheelhouse and something I'm really enjoying at the moment. You know, straight away it makes me think of car pink, cat guards, cat guards in the courtyard um or um oh what's the Weringal one I'm thinking of it's lost me doesn't matter but really beautiful it doesn't feel dry on there it feels quite nice and where it is coming down heavier I think it is definitely legible I think I put it in the wrong pen to to ex you know as a matching is it a jug or just jug um so it is definitely Um, an ink that I would like to revisit because also who doesn't love sangria all right Ooh, look at that first one down I think there's eight in the series altogether so I would love to know what of the summer series you've tried what you love what you don't love do you agree with mountain of ink do you also find them on the drier side yeah just love to know your thoughts next up is summer sunset I have um, Teranishi Inks Opera Rose inked at the moment and I am in love. And this, you could say, is related to it. So it's definitely an ink I'm super, super excited to try. Let's have a looky loo. Oh, it's actually dark, not darker, but browner than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be quite orange. Um, but it definitely has a, a brownier undertone to it. It's interesting, the, the less saturated inks, I haven't worked out exactly the right pressure with this nib, and you can kind of see it on the page. Um, but this is a, a darker less saturated orangey color definitely giving me opera opera rose vibes um it kind of reminds me of like sand on a beach at dusk a little bit like that the yellowy orangeness with you know the reflection of the sunset and things like that it's a really beautiful it's quite beautiful I think you're going to get some really nice shading in there all these like non-saturated inks I really like but you just have to be a bit more thoughtful about what pen you're putting it in because um, it can just be too light and just not an enjoyable writing experience if you get it in the wrong, like if it's the wrong matchup. Just going back up to this one, it's got a really beautiful halo forming as it dries as well. Like a, I don't think it's black, I think it's a super dark brown. Beautiful. Look at the bits of shading in that. So look two for two. These inks are stunning so far for me. Next up, so those are the darker two of them. I'm really interested to see how these ones are. So now we have 
sand between your toes, which I also think is a brilliant name. I, um, and I might lose subscribers admitting this, before I had kids, I hated the beach. Hated with a passion. I didn't enjoy it. I hate that you got sand everywhere. Yeah, just was just not something I ever enjoyed. Since having kids, though, it's actually changed. They get so much joy out of the beach. It's like I experience the beach now, like, vicariously through them, and it's a much more enjoyable experience. Um, okay, the thing that's jumping out at me, I get the sand reference, but it's almost, got, it's almost like a little bit dirty, this one. It has a grittiness, this, this yellow to it that I just wasn't expecting. It's not what I associate with the beach and the warmth of the sand when it is in between your toes and even like the difference between the, the paler dry sand and the darker wet. Um, that's, I guess I have a different association with sand. This ink, it's like a yellow, but there's like a, almost like a gray underneath or a green. So I'm trying to see if I can put, show you it's almost in that middle bit there, like the darker bits. I don't know. I think I was maybe just expecting something warmer because that's how I, my association. Um, but here's what it is. Sand. Uh, it seems dark enough. So that's a good thing so far. They're all... I think quite legible in um, the writing samples. Look, as it's drying, it's getting a bit warmer, like the haloing there, it's got like a goldy yellow, the bits there. So I am kind of liking it more as it dries, but just when it went down, it kind of uh, was just not what I was expecting. I was gonna say I was taken aback, but that feels very dramatic for a description of an ink swatch. All right, last but not least, Lime Ice Lolly. I, is an ice lolly an icy pole? Like, is, is that the, what um, they call an icy pole in England? Diamine, English? Yep. I'm not sure. I don't know what an ice lolly is, but I think that what it could, is what it could be. When in, from an Aussie point of view, when I think of a lime icy pole, I think of um, the splice ones. You know, it's like that pine lime icy pole over the top and it's got the the vanilla ice cream underneath yum um ooh, that's not really what this looks like that one's a lot more punch you in the face lime but this is a really cool i could i could see like an icy pole green in that color um there's like a refreshingness to it I do wonder if this one is going to be quite light when writing. I think it's probably my least favourite so far. Uh, interestingly, I've probably swatched them in the level of which I am drawn to them. Liking sand between your toes, the more and more it dries. So it was just that first reaction maybe was a little bit unfair because I had quite a clear picture in my head. Can someone let me know lime what an ice lolly is. Is it an icy pole, like an ice cream, but without the cream? Um, yeah, that's just a bit too light for me, unfortunately, but maybe again could be, I don't know why I said again, maybe this could be something um, for more an artistic or if you got it in maybe a really wet nib, but I struggle to, to see that. But all in all, so excited that I've been able to try four inks from this series. I'll just remove my guide sheet so we can have a looky-loo. So the Diamine Summer Series Cult Pens. First up, Jug of Sangria, a really nice dusty dark pink. Summer Sunset, I'm calling that an orange. Sand Between Your Toes, like a mustard yellow. And then Lime Ice Lolly, which I think is an icy pole. Uh, awesome. That's going to be it for today. I would love to know if you've tried this series, what your favorite one is, if you found the right pairing for these kind of less saturated inks, uh, what pen have, is it really working for you 
in. Um, yeah, I'd just love to know your thoughts. And as always, if you could hit like and subscribe, that really uh, would help me out. I am really trying to focus on uh, climbing my YouTube reach. It's been quite stagnant for a while, so I'm not sure if I've started doing something wrong, but I love there was a period there where I was just being able to meet so many new people and it was awesome and um, I guess it's not not that it's about the subscriber count, but then when you stop getting new subscribers, then you're not meeting new people. And so um, it was just this kind of awesome experience for a while there, getting to meet so many new people in such a quick succession. So if you can hit like and subscribe, that'd be awesome. If you don't want to, that's cool too. And I cannot wait to swatch some more inks with you guys soon. Bye.